Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I have um, some reviews. This is another edition of 444. So if you like review videos, do check out. I'll put a list of them up there. Um, welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here. I do reviews. I'm trying to do them about once a week. I have Fragrance Ride Fridays, Sample Saturdays, Empties, and Hauls. So if any of those are interest to you, please do consider subscribing. I can't say that word for some reason. I, it would mean so very much to me. So today I have four blush palettes. I have a blush trio from Anastasia Beverly Hills or ABH. This is the Pink Passion. Then I have the Sephora Blushing For You. This was a Black Friday gift a couple years ago. And then I have the, it wasn't a gift, it was a Black Friday sale. Then I have the Saharan Blush Volume 2 from Juvia's Place. And finally, the Infallible Paints. This is the blush palette. It doesn't say like special shades. So these I've all tested out. I tested out every single shade in each palette really gave them a go, tried to see what they looked like on my skin, how they lasted throughout the day. And part of the goal of this is to rotate through and see what I have in my collection because I have way too much, but also so that if there's things that don't work for me that I can pass them on to somebody else who will use them because I have lots of friends and family who would actually use these. So. Let's start, we're gonna start with the Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. This is, um, this isn't too bad of a price. This is considered drugstore at Ulta. So you can get this and it, usually the, the sale coupons apply to it as well. So there are um, six shades in here. One that could be considered a highlighter, one that could be considered a bronzer. This is a little too bronzy for me. Let me swatch them all for you. All right, so I did try to go in with a light hand because usually we go in lighter with our blushes and bronzers and those type of things. We don't go in with a heavy hand, so I tried to go in more lightly. So there is the bronzer, you have the blushes, and then you have that one that's more of a highlight. It kind of does work on my skin tone. You can kind of see it sometimes, you can't see it other times. Overall, I think this is a nice palette. The shades work really well. I had a really hard time going in lightly enough to um, not look like I had painted my cheeks super dark. This is too dark of a palette for me. I really wanted it to work. I loved the colors. I lusted after it for quite a while before I actually purchased it, but um, it just, it didn't work for me as a blush palette, unfortunately. So, uh, I am decluttering this one just because it doesn't work for me personally. I think somebody with a slightly darker skin tone would probably work, but when you're like super white like me, um, unfortunately it doesn't work and that's fine because it's a black owned company. It wasn't made for me, but I'm still sad. I'm glad that I bought it and I got to try it out. All right, so the second palette is from Sephora. This was one of the Black Friday deals that they used to do. Now they kind of let them go throughout the season. So this was like $10, I want to say, and I ended up picking it up just because it looked pretty and my mom was like, ooh, you should get this because she's an enabler sometimes. So there are three shades in here. Once again, I'm not going in super heavy with them because I want to give a better idea of how they perform as blushes, not so much as, um, you know, how an eyeshadow, I go in harder on my eyeshadows because I usually have a smaller brush that's more densely packed than for my face products. So I do like these. I wear them mixed together. I don't try to use just one or the other. And I do feel like this one in the middle that's called bright pink, which is hilarious to me. Um, I feel like it's still, even though it's more brownie, it still works as a blush. So I did like these. I will continue using these. Um, this is one that I should try to get rid of. Um, like actually use it is what I mean by get rid of it. It's yeah, I do like it. It's, it's is it my favorite palette? No, but I do like it. Palette number four, as you can see, I got it on discount. I got it at Tuesday morning. I had wanted it, but it was like 12, $13. 
in the grocery store, which just was too much for me. But it was $3.99 at Tuesday morning, and I was like, you know what? I had wanted that palette, so I'm going to get it. So you do get four shades in here. There are some very bold shades in here. They're um, not for the faint of a heart, that is for sure. So that is what they look like. I will say these don't blend as easily as the other ones. Um, these do take a little bit more work. I felt like I went into them a couple times to get them evenly dispersed on the skin, but they were buildable. They didn't, unlike the Juvia's where even like just trying to take just a tap and it was really hard to get them to be sheer enough for me. These ones came out pretty sheer to begin with and then you would build them up. So I do like that better. Are these my favorite colors? Do these look the best on me? Probably not. Like this orange probably doesn't look the best on me, but I still, I enjoyed it. I liked the, I like these pinks and I really like this one, which is fi funny that the lightest shade is my favorite shade, but I did enjoy this and I think it was worth the $3.99 that I paid for it. The final palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is, they did a couple blush trios, and I feel like I have another one as well, like a coral one. This is the Pink Passion. So you do have like your darker shade, your middle shade, and then like the more rosy shade. I am wearing this one today. Um, I have found that, that I've been reaching for this even outside of this challenge, or cha it's not really a challenge, but I have been reaching for this and using it partly because it's out and it was a little easier to get to than some of my other things and partly just because I really have been enjoying using it as a palette. So as you're going to see, they're going to be very, very light. These are ones I went in, I was use, I used this shade today, that middle shade, and I did go in a couple times with it because they are very buildable, but you do get color. Like I feel like this is a nice shade for my nice skin tone. Ignore the eyeshadow, I kind of had like, I was experimenting and it didn't go quite as planned. But I really do um, like this palette. I think it's really nice if you want something that's buildable but you can get a sheer look so you don't look like you have blush on but it looks more natural, I think this is a good one. So if I was going to rank these, I would rank this as number one, which really surprised me because I didn't think I was going to. I look at the colors in here and I'm like, they're kind of blah, they're not very pretty or vibrant, um, and just they didn't appeal to me. But in wearing them, they looked the best on my skin. They wore, they, they gave me the most um, versatility in building, buildability. Oh my gosh, I am rambling. Uh, number two, I'm going to put my Sephora Blushing For You palette. I really did like these. I think that if you find these um, at Sephora, I would go ahead and get some of their blush products when they're on sale or when they do like their extra thing because I really do like them. Then I'm going to put, for me personally, I'm putting the Infallibles, um, Infallible Paints as third because I do like this one, but I don't see myself wearing this one quite as much as the other two. I feel like those other two are gonna be more everyday type of palettes for me and just things that I can are more wearable. And in last place is going to be the Saharan Volume 2 by Juvia's Place, not because it's bad, just because it's, it's so good. Like it's overly pigmented. And if I wanted to use this as an eyeshadow palette and one of these gigantic, like they're bigger than my eyes, um, shade palettes I think it would be great like if I really wanted because these would be a beautiful eye palette but for me personally these don't work as blushes and um, if you don't want a really pigmented blush they are so if you don't want a super pigmented blush um, these are going to be harder for you to work with and depending on your skin tone and your makeup preferences, you might love this and this might be your number one and Anastasia would be your number. Well, I think I think if you really like pigmented blushes, this would probably be your last place, um, but you would probably rank them very differently than me. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got some insight, maybe some um, 
thoughts about them, maybe it inspired you to break out some of your older blush palettes. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Have you tried any of these? Were you tempted by any of them? Are you happy you didn't get them after this review? Let me know down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.